Hi guys, as you can see I've just 3D printed and painted a beholder and I did it using the Eligu Mars 3 which I was recently sent. As you can see the miniature has printed out really well, certainly lots of definition in this chap. So this isn't an unboxing or setting up video as there's loads of those out there, this purely is just to see how well this machine 3D prints miniatures. As I'm currently working on my own D&D campaign, obviously I am printing out a lot of miniatures at the moment. And one of the main places I go to is Thingiverse, just because obviously they're nice and free on here. So type in Beholder and as you can see there's loads of varieties, but I've chosen this one just because he doesn't need to have a stand. Because of the way his tentacles come out, he sort of stands on those, which is, I think is pretty cool. Um, yeah, and again there's a lot of texture in this one as well, because some of them are quite smooth. But this one certainly is full of texture. Which is cool. So yeah, resize it. Obviously, it comes with the software you need to uh, to operate the uh, the machine. Um, and yeah, it's simply a case of opening up the thing you've got, or the STL, taking it in. If it hasn't got supports, it's simple enough to click one button, and it instantly does the supports, which is pretty awesome. And then save it onto a USB, which is then obviously just plug into the uh, the printer. Turn it on, and yeah, hit a couple of buttons, and your way it goes. So one main thing I did notice with the Eligu Mars, and that is it's very quiet. Um, I mean most of these machines are pretty quiet, but obviously they do make a bit of a noise with the fans. But the fan on this one is definitely the quietest one that I've got. Um, but yeah, so print quality obviously comes out like this. Um, whenever they first come out they do look a little bit of a mess, because obviously there's still quite a lot of resin on them. So yeah, using the old um, wash and cure station makes sort of simple work of doing that. Basically, I've been on for like 10 minutes to, uh, to wash it, 10 minutes to cure it, and while it's doing that, I just go and, uh, well, do other stuff, really, which is pretty cool. I always feel like I'm working in a fish and chip shop when I'm doing this, uh, emptying the, uh, the chips out from the batter and all that, but, um, but yeah, so all nice and clean, obviously wearing gloves for all of this, because obviously the resin is harmful, so yeah, a bit of PPE there, and yeah, I'm really pleased with how this, this guy came out. I say that's why I chose a beholder that has got a lot more texture in all its tentacles, just to see how well that all popped out and yeah the supports they come off nice and easy obviously sometimes a few of them do leave little marks but that's easy enough to sort of trim off with a blade and you'll see me do that in just a second but um, the fact that it does the supports for you I think is pretty cool I mean you can go in manually and add some and take some away but uh, but generally I like to just let the machine sort of do the supports because um, I've never really had many issues to be honest but most prints have come out and yeah, I say there's a few little bits, but not too many. So you just scrape them off. Um, yeah, really pleased with how this guy looks, and can't wait to sort of obviously get some paint on this bad boy. In regards to painting, I'm just loving the uh, the D&D range of paints from Army Painter, um, and they also come with the brushes, which is pretty cool. And these brushes are made for dummies, as each one says basically what it's called, sort of meant for, whether it's a fine brush, a dry brush, or even the wash brush, which I think is pretty cool. So yeah, give the bottles a good old shake. These have all got the uh, a ball bearing inside them. So I did shake it for a lot longer than you actually saw there. Generally about 30 seconds seems to be enough. Um, yeah, obviously it comes out nice and thick and consistent, which is great. And yeah, slap it on basically. So yeah, so the variety of brushes that came with the sets is pretty cool, because there are some nice thin ones and obviously some thicker ones. And like when I do most of my painting, this is a case of getting the block colors on first. Obviously trying to be as neat as possible, although I must admit I do now need to change my glasses because, um, yeah, my hand's steady, it's just my eyesight is the, is the one that sort of I'm lacking in a little bit here. But um, yeah, now I love painting this little chap, so quite simple, not too many colours. Uh, there's probably obviously more involved in doing his eyeballs and his mouth than anything else because it is kind of like a, a block colour. But uh, yeah, get the basic colours on first. And then good old washes. I mean, everyone knows I love washes. So you get the washes out. And this is where it really transforms how the figures look. So again, good old army painter. I've got at least, I don't know, about 14 different washes, um, variety of shades, and a few different colours. So that's why on this one, I'm giving him a bit of a red tone, rather than him looking like sort of a darker colour than he is. Um, just because I kind of wanted the guy to look almost orangey. So having a yellow base coat and then the red tone on top, um, yeah, it certainly helps sort of achieve that. Basically, my, my favourite colour is orange. I mean, I've seen loads of beholders painted a variety of different colours, but this one's my favourite. And yeah, I think he's looking pretty awesome. All I want to do now is just make his eyes a bit glossy. 
So I'm using this Fimo Gloss Varnish as, well, that's the only one I've got basically. So simply just painting over the eyes does make them look that little bit more eye-like as they do have a bit more of a shine to them now. So yeah, really pleased with how this is printed out, really pleased with the Eligu Mars printer. Um, yeah, certainly recommend it to anyone because it is a nice sort of printer, nice size and definitely reasonably priced. And there we go. So I hope you enjoyed the video guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, leave comments down below. Um, yeah, and all that good stuff. Alright guys, you take care. Bye for now.